Carl, you've been involved in some epic fights on the road to this one. What will winning this one do for your career? This would be fantastic for my career. Um, you know, it will just cap what's been a wonderful career already. I mean, if I, if I retire tomorrow and didn't take this fight, I've had a fantastic career. Two times WBC champion, as undefeated British and Commonwealth champion. You know, and as an amateur, I had my accolades. I won, a, I won a medal in the World Championships as the first Englishman to ever win a world medal. So, you know, since then I've gone from strength to strength. But to win this fight, um, I'm picking up another world title, you know, the WBA version. I've won the biggest and toughest tournament ever to happen in world boxing. And, you know, after that, there's, there's a unification fight with a, with, a, with a guy called Lucian Butte who seems to be hiding, hiding in, um, I don't know where he's hiding, but he's, I can't find him. I can't seem to get a fight with him and nobody else can. But after this, that's a fight that could happen and that will then be the undisputed champion, which will be phenomenal. Do you think you've had the profile you deserve? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it now. I don't think I have on, on the build-up and on the way through. You know, it's, it's not been happening for me. And... Um, you know, it's, it's now happening for me and that's big praise to, to Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and, and his dad Barry. So I'm not really focusing too much on that, you know, but I've had to fight tough, tough fights time after time and it's now finally for me coming good. But let's not forget, you know, I'm doing something I enjoy and, you know, I'd be, I'd be boxing regardless. I boxed amateur for years and years and, and never earned a penny out of the game because I enjoy it. So, you know, don't get the violins out for me. Andre's uh, unbeaten 24 from 24. How are you going to stop him? I'm going to put pressure on him. I'm going to hit him hard and often. You know, I, I raised the question at the press, press today about he, he can't punch. I think it was you that actually put me on my back foot there, so I had to, I had to shoot you down with that one. But I ended that because Andre was listening. But you know, he's talking about punching power, and you don't know if you can punch hard until you're at this level where you're knocking them out. Now, let's not forget, it's not about always knocking out the opponent. It's about hurting them. Now, at top level, when two top world-class fighters meet, it's not always a knockout. But the one that can punch, the hurtful punches going in. That's the one that usually wins the fight because they can turn a fight around and put a fight on his back foot and make him do things he don't want to do. I've got the ability to punch hard. I've got punching power and that's, that's getting inside his head. He knows that and he's trying to counteract that with his, with his rubbish about, you know, it's about knocking out people at top level. It's not. It's about hitting them and hurting them and that's what I do. Andre Ward does not hurt anybody when he hits them. He hits them clean, often regular as a good fighter, but let's get the wrong thing right. He cannot punch and I'm going to be using that to my advantage on fight night. What about going back to Atlantic City? Good memories for you, of course. Yeah, definitely. It's good memories all around. My trainer, Rob McCracken, has actually boxed there twice successfully. I boxed against Johnson there, and I don't mind it. I think it's, I think it's a great city, and the venue's a lot bigger than the um, one I boxed in last time. I think this holds 10,000, the ballroom, maybe more. So it's, it's going to be a big occasion. I'm expecting a lot of British fans because the phones haven't stopped ringing at Matchroom. The package deals are all getting sold up. The tickets are going fast. So I'm really, really appreciative of all the fans. I want to thank them personally You know, when I'm out there. And I'd like to thank them now for getting on board quick because they are doing. And um, you know, the, the press conference out there, the weigh-in, and then the fight, it's just going to be a fantastic occasion. It really is. A couple of final points. Is this going to be a real clash of styles, this, this fight? Potentially it could be, but you know, the, the fans are in for a real treat because if he decides to try and run and hold like he usually does, I've got the strength and power and, and the adaptability to change that. You know, it's not just going to be a sitting on the ropes for 12 rounds with heads locking together, which he's been involved in a few times. Um, because if he's in close trying to rough me up, I'll rough him up back, I'll grab him, I'll hit him around the side and the back of the head and the kidneys, the ribs, everything goes. It's the referee's job to make sure it's a fair fight and as long as he does his job, then the fight will be exciting and interesting. But if I need to box and move, I will do. If I need to put on his back foot, I will do. And if I need to take him into the trenches and go in the trenches myself, I'm prepared to. So, you know, whatever happens, whatever he brings to the table, I've got an answer for it on the night. Andre, Carl's been saying you can't punch. What do you say to that? Uh, I've heard it before. It's not the first time I've heard it, and it probably won't be the last. But I do know that I, I get it done, and that's what's important. What kind of fight is this going to be? Is this going to be a real clash of styles? He's a kind of never-say-die boxer. A contrast to you, would you say? No, I wouldn't say that. I think, I think my toughness and, and my roughness is underestimated. You know, when, when Andre Ward is rough, then I'm dirty. But when Carl is rough, then that's his style and he gets praised for it. So I guess it's who you ask, and I guess it, it's how you look at it. What have we made of Froch's uh, form coming into this fight? Well, I think he's done what he's had to do. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, what to say about that. I mean, he's, he's won the necessary fights he was supposed to, to win. He, he took a set back against Kessler, and uh, he came right back and won his title. So uh, he should be respected as a champion. What about that fight with uh, Abraham? How good were you in that fight? Well, again, I felt like I, I did what I had to do. I wouldn't, you know, uh, take it too far and say it was a great performance, but it was a good, solid performance against a guy who, you know, is, is very difficult to hit, doesn't want to give you many clean shots, and, uh, you know, I did exactly what I had to do, and that's get the victory. Is that the kind of performance that Carl's got to be wary of? 
Well, I think he, he can expect a little bit more than that in our fight because uh, he, he opens himself up and he gives you a lot more shots than Arthur Abraham. So uh, you can see a lot more in our fight than, than you did against Arthur Abraham. What about Atlantic City? Is that a good venue for you? Well, it has to be. It better be because <laughs> there's no turning around. So, yeah, it, it's a great venue. It's been a lot of historic fights there. Uh, the Boardwalk Hall, uh, great fighters have been through there. And it's just an honor and a privilege for me to have my opportunity on the biggest stage in my career to fight there. And tell us about your training camp going into the fight. How tough is that going to be for you? It's going to be as tough as it could possibly be, uh, mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, and spiritually. We're putting, you know, we're going to do what we've always done. We don't have to start working hard. We've been working hard for many, many years, and we're going to we're going to continue to work hard as we try to close the show in this Super Six. There's a lot on the table for this fight. There's a Super Six trophy. There's two world titles, and there's a ring belt. Does that make it extra special? It absolutely does. I've always wanted to be the Ring Magazine champion, and now that's on the line. Now we have the Super Six, six uh, Cup, and, and plus uh, the two other belts that are involved. So, you know, this is it. Everything's on the line. A lot of British fight fans are traveling over for this one. Concerned about that at all? No, I actually like it. I enjoy it. I appreciate their passion for their fighters. Uh, similar to when Floyd Mayweather fought Ricky Hatton, you know, it was a pro Hatton, Hatton crowd. But if, 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 his, if he has more fans than I do, then it's just part of the game. You have, to, you have to block it out. You have to use it to your favor and do what you have to do and still get the win. Just finally, Andre, how's it going to end? Well, of course, you know, I, I want to be the victor and I, and I feel like I'm going to win. I mean, of course, I, I shouldn't be here talking to you if I didn't feel that way.